Today I am very excited to show you a new way to create a bootable USB drive for an old version of macOS on your new Mac. This method works 100%. And why does this method work so effectively compared to others? Because we use the terminal and macOS app in this method instead of disk utility and DMG file. Let me explain how it works. First we download the macOS installer from the Apple website. Then we will convert this pkg file into a macOS installer and use terminal to create the bootable USB drive directly from the installer. And the best part, we won't need any third party software for this process. Sounds interesting, right? Let's dive in. First we need to download the full macOS installer. Open your web browser and visit the Apple support page. Scroll down to the old version section. Here you will find the old macOS installers from macOS line to macOS Sierra. For the demo, we download El Capitan, but you can free to download any other version as the steps will be the same for all of them. After downloading, navigate to your downloads folder and mount the install macOS X DMG file. This DMG file contains the macOS installer in a zipped format, in pkg format. To get the macOS installer into your application folder, you need to install the pkg file into your computer. However, modern Macs often encounter errors during this process. Therefore, we need to extract the macOS installer in another way. Minimize this window and open your terminal app. Don't worry, nothing complicated here. You just need to type or copy paste two simple commands here. And that's it. First type cd space desktop to set your location to the desktop for easy access. If you prefer, you can set a different location. Now my location is set to the desktop. So I will enter the second command. Type pkg util space dash dash expand dash full give a space and drag and drop your macOS X pkg file into the terminal window. This action will enter the path of the pkg file in the terminal. Now give a space and type dash f. Hit the enter key. This command will create a folder named dash f on your desktop and extract the macOS X pkg file into that folder. After extracting, you can close the terminal. Eject the macOS X DMG file as we no longer need it. Next, navigate to your extracted folder. Inside you will find the install macOS X pkg file again. But this time you can open it. Just right click on the file and choose show package contents. Here you will see a DMG file called install esd. Copy it. Next, navigate to the payload folder. In this folder, you will see the macOS installer. Right click on the installer and select show package contents. Now go to the contents folder and then open the share support folder. Paste the install esd file here. Return to the payload folder and drag the macOS installer into your application folder. That's it. 90% of the work is done. The next step is to create a bootable USB drive from that installer. For that, plug your USB drive into your Mac. Please note that this process will erase all data on the USB drive. So make sure you do not have any important data on it. Once ready, open the Disk Utility app. 
from the view menu select show all devices in the sidebar select the top level of your usb drive and click the erase button name your usb drive my volume from the format drop down menu select macOS extended journal set the partition scheme to git when everything is okay hit the erase button After erasing the USB drive, click the Done button and close the Disutility application. Now we have the macOS installer and our USB drive is prepared. So let's make it bootable. Open your terminal app and copy this command from the video description and paste it into your terminal app. If your USB drive name is different from mine, then replace my volume with your usb drive name after that hit the enter key type your login password and hit the enter key again type y and press enter to confirm this process may take some time depending on your hardware configuration after a few minutes your bootable drive will be ready. You can now close the terminal app. Congratulations! We successfully created a macOS X bootable USB drive from the macOS X package file. Let's check the drive. As you can see, the USB drive is working perfectly. And now I can install macOS X on my old computer. Our installation is complete and we successfully installed the Mac operating system on our old MacBook. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section. I would really appreciate it if you liked and shared this video to support me. Don't forget to subscribe for more useful videos like this and I will see you in the next one. Peace.